Hello. Yes. It's that time. It's the bad time. Time for Brixar answer thingy. And Brixar is way behind. Nobody has told me where old Kirk's house went yet. Um, I'm going to do a couple of questions. And then I'm going to give an update on train month as part of these questions. And show you one of the trains I'll be doing. But anyway, this is Brixar answer thingy. So we need to answer the questions. And the first question we're going to answer is from Hubby00N6. And he says, and this is in relation to a video of an old uh, space set that had the blue spaceman. He said, Dear Joseph, have you made a computer in the Golden Ages? Oh, no. I can't read. He says, Dear Joseph, have you had a computer in the Golden Ages, e.g. Uh, a C64, an Amiga, or other computers? Have you made a mock related to your computer? And I was like, oh. I want to do that. I've seen some where people have made like a Commodore 64 or something like that. Uh, an Apple computer. I wanted an Apple. I couldn't afford it. I had a Radio Shack color computer. I uh, paid $400 when I was 12 years old for a version 1 of the color computer. I've actually sold that one. Uh, I sold it on eBay a while back. I had custom modified it with a joystick and everything, and um, now I kind of wish I didn't sell it. I was trying to clear out space, but I still have the Color Computer 2, which is white. The original Color Computer 1 was gray, and it had a terrible keyboard, but that was my computer. I loved it. Um, I had programs. I wrote programs. I pirated programs, probably. I don't know. Um, no, I didn't. I'll just say it. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, it was um, a computer, and I would like to make a mock of it, either the, the version 1 or version 2. The version 2 would probably be easier, because it's kind of got the same kind of style, like a Commodore 64. But that was the computer I had from 1980 until it died in 1991. Actually, it didn't die the disk drive. I had a separate disk drive, that, uh, floppy disk, and it died. And by then, I didn't have the cassette player or that that had died as well, so it wasn't any way of loading the games other than playing the cartridges that plug in there. So anyway, that was my computer, and that's not really a Lego question, but uh, other than you want to make a mock out of it, and not yes, I would. Now, um, let's go to a question about train month, and this is from, it's not a bat question, but it's from the Lego Reviewer 101. Why the whatever, would you pick this set for train month? And did you even watch the video? I've already did a train set for train month for today, and that was the second one I did. And I even said in the video that it's not, it wouldn't be the only, the only one I would do because it's such a lame set, but, um, why do you, I think a better question is, why are you called the Lego Reviewer 101 when you have no videos? Um, next back question. Do, 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 do. I don't have a lot of them I'm going to do today. There wasn't actually a lot on the other video. So I think y'all, I think I've answered all the questions, huh? Oh, uh, Clone Trooper X39 says, how many orders do you get on your BrickLink store? I'm getting probably not many, like 10 a week, maybe, which is more than last year. Last year, I might get four or five a week. I'm probably getting about 10 a week now. It's like two a day, one a day. Some days one, some days two, some days five, some days none. You know, it, it kind of evens out. Somebody asked a Lord of the Rings question. I don't collect Lord of the Rings, so I, I can't recommend it. Well, I'll go ahead and say who it was. MBL Designs, he is in Sweden. Hey, and... He asked something about Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. I don't, I don't do that stuff, so I can't answer the question. Um, 
Okay, wonderful bricks. Do you have any ideas on your upcoming 1000th video? No, and it's kind of hard because I post so many videos in advance that by the time my 1000th video post, you, I, I will be like on 1010. I don't, so I don't know. It'd be kind of hard to time it, and sometimes I don't keep track of how many it is. And maybe I should. Do you think that's a, something I should do? Something special for my thousandth video? Maybe I should. All right, Dirt Nap for you, 300. Have you ever thought of making your own torsos, meaning using the decal method for people who want to buy your sig fig and not want to pay 10 to 15 bucks? All right, this is the thing about sig figs. I had no idea that sig figs would become popular when I made my sig fig. I vow never to change my sig fig. But it's gonna it's what it is, and I am not a sticker person as far as stuff like that. Um, so I no I'm if you want to do that and make a space torso, you can. But uh, basically, none of the parts are worth ten to fifteen dollars. I mean, you can, all the parts you can get for less than ten dollars. And so I no, I've never thought of doing that. And I uh, probably never will do that, but I never, you know, I got all those sick figs out there. I've already sent some to some people, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to do the sticker method. And I did, you know, I never knew that the sick fig thing would become where everybody's making, wanting to make everybody else's sick figs. So that was unexpected. And maybe I would have thought of something different. I don't know, but I like what I picked and I'm going to stay with it. Um, all right, in talk. I don't think this is a bad question, but he asks, I am thinking of starting brick link with 20 sets, four different sets of five. How many stack ohms do I, you think I sh should have for my first part out? I would say none. I, w I wouldn't get any stack ohms until you're dealing with, you know, 10,000 parts or more, like maybe 20,000 parts, because if it's only four different sets of five, I would just use baggies. Just use the baggies. Uh, it's not worth the expense um, at, in the initial stages. But the number of stack ohms you would need would be based on the number of different elements in those sets. Uh, so if there's 50 different elements in each of the four sets, you would need 200 drawers, which would be four stack ohms. Unless they were big parts. Uh, Liana Mateski. Back question, where do you put all of your extra pieces from your sets? I keep, the sets that I keep together, I keep all the pieces in a baggie with the instructions. I don't pile them all together with all the other pieces, but the sets that I keep aside in case I want to sell the set later, or it's a valuable set from my collection, I keep them in a baggie in the instructions. So that's a pretty decent question there. Um, so... That was about all the back questions, so that's good enough for this video. I hope I wasn't too hard on the LEGO Reviewer 101. Um, sorry, man. I take it back. Anyway, this is what we're going to be um, reviewing later this month. It is a train set from the 60s. I think it's from 1968. Set 80. The ambassador set or the train set. It actually has buildings in it, but there's some things in here that are kind of funny. But I do vow to do a few good sets, but in train month, I got so many train sets, I will be doing some that are lame, so be prepared. Uh, like that freight loading station set 4557. Yes, it is a lame train set, but it's train month. I didn't design the sets. I, if I designed it, it'd probably be much worse. So anyway, um, I will try to do as many good sets or big sets, but um, I'm getting the table cleared off. I'll be doing update zero before long, and... It, I didn't get it in time for the beginning of train month, but I do want to have some of the trains running on the table. Uh, like when I get to the cargo trains, I got four cargo trains, different cargo trains we'll be doing. 
I have some of the 9 volt trains that I have not reviewed. You will not see the Santa Fe train unless it's just part of a random video because the Santa Fe train, I've already done it. I've already done the Metro Liner. So there are some really cool trains that I've already done. Horizon Express, already done it. So those are probably three of the coolest of the trains. I've already done I've already done set 7745. So for, there are four of my favorite trains we've already I've already reviewed. Do you think I should redo or show them again? Let me know. I'll do it. I'll do it. But yeah, I'm I was a little hard on Lego Reviewer 101, but it's like I got to sh show it and there was already a video earlier today. So there will be more than 31 videos by the end of the month that are train videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. Where did old Kirk's house go?